Tactical Pascal, welcome to the channel. I hope this finds you all safe and well. This video is on how to use the AGM 88C Harm in the F 18 in DCS world. The AGM 88C Harm is a high speed anti radiation missile, hence the name Harm, and it's designed for blowing up surface to air missile sites. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in the F 18. There are two modes that you're mainly going to use when using the F-18, that's SP, which is self-protection, and TOO, which is for targets of opportunity. So the first thing we want to do is switch to air to ground mode, and then what we're going to do is bring up the harm page. Now you can see there the SP is boxed, so that's self-protection. That means that if anything locks you up, your harm will automatically be targeted towards that. All you need to do is press the button and fire. But we've also got TOO, which I find more useful because then you can actually choose targets. Now you cycle between them by pressing the FLIR RAID FOV button and you hand it off to the missile by pressing the CAGE UNCAGE button. So you can see here we've been locked or targeted by an SA3. Now I'm in TOO mode, so that means that I've got the sensor there, I've, got, I've found the SA3, but I've not handed it off to the missile yet. So to hand it off to the missile, all I need to do is press the cage uncage button. But you can see there, I've not selected the MFD. So that's a problem a lot of people have. They can't fire the harm because they haven't selected it. So you need to box the MFD. And as I did that, I've also got an SA6 up here. So the flur raid cycles between the two. And then we cage uncage and that hands off the missile. So the missile on station eight is ready to be fired at the SA3. And then we do the same for the SA-6 and we just fire them off that way. It's literally that simple. So what I'll do now is run through a quick demo of how it's done in the actual cockpit itself. Like I said, it's very, very easy. So first things, let's set up our countermeasures. So we'll go to the EW page, make sure our uh, RWR is on and our countermeasures are armed to what we want them. So we're going to select manual and we're going to select arm. Now, I don't want to drop uh, chaff and flare at repeating it 10 times in an interval of a second. That's too much. So I'm just going to select uh, one chaff, one flare. Let's go for a repeat. Drop that down to uh, twice with an interval of half a second. And then hit save and then return. So let's get our harms ready. So we're going to select air to ground mode and we're going to select harm on the left hand side. Now at the moment it's in self-protection mode, so if something locks me up, my harm will automatically be targeted to that threat. I don't want that. I like I prefer to have a little bit more control, so I'm going to go TOO, which is going to allow me to search for the targets. Now, I know where they are because I designed this mission, so I'm going to go to steer point two, and then we'll start getting locked up by an SA6. There he is. So we see him on the EW page. I've got it selected so that the um, EW is displayed in the HUD. So we see there an SA6. Now if I click self-protection mode now, the harm automatically locks to that threat. To make sure we can move the uh, the sensor, sorry, target the harm, 
we're going to press sensor select left and we see our little diamond here now if I press uncage it hands off onto the SA6 that's the only threat that I have at the moment so I'm just going to leave it there and I'm going to climb with a bit of altitude and then we're going to launch our harm at him he's probably going to fire at us too but we're going to fire back at him with our harm it's a good idea to get some height when you're firing the harm. I normally sit about 30,000 feet at about 400 knots. That's going to give you a range of about 50 nautical miles. Again, if I go to self-protection, automatically I'm going to box him and target him. But I'm going to leave it on TO. And if there was, there is an SA out there. And then I could choose which one I wanted to destroy by cycling through with my raid floor button. Okay, so the SA6 is locking us up now can tell from that lovely tone. We can see there we've now got that line above the uh, the six in the box that says it's locked us. So he's getting ready to fire at us so let's lock him back. So hand off the harm to the SA6. I'm gonna launch at him now. 20 miles away doing decimal, well doing Mach 1 actually. That missile should have plenty of energy to get there. So I'm just gonna start a gentle turn away. So if he does launch on me, I can escape off out to sea. So my missile's on the way. That's going to have no problem getting to him and blowing him up. We can see him there on the EW page. In fact, let's move our EW page up. So we've now got an SA-8. So what I'll do is I'll turn towards the threats and then we'll cycle between them on the, uh, on the harm page. So we're turning towards them. Should be steady there now. I have to flew past them. <laughs> so if we look at this harm page on the left, we can see the SA-8 there. Nothing on the SA-6, so I'm cycling between the two with the raid flur. And then I'm launching, I've been launched at by the SA-6. I'm launching at the SA-8 now. So the SA-6 has fired on us, but he's already got a harm on the way. So let's drop a bit of chaff. So the SA-6 has stopped. Now he's fired again. You can see him all the way over there. Those missiles are coming to meet us, so let's turn away. Chaff and flare again. Have a look behind, see if they've turned to follow. Going to bleed all their speed. Then we're going to dive down. What we want to be doing is some aggressive manoeuvres to try and bleed the missiles of their energy. So they run out and then don't catch us. Let's turn back in. I'm not seeing the SA-6 on the RWR. I am still seeing the SA-8, so I'm just going to go back towards the steer point. And hopefully that's then dealt with. Now I can see one... Yeah, one little fire down there. So we've killed something. So now that we've dealt with the emitters themselves, we can go in and blow up the launchers. When I'm flying in the F-18 uh, performance seed, I normally carry two harms, two fuel, and then I carry some rock eye cluster bombs underneath the fuselage and that's going to allow me to fly in and deal with the uh, the actual launch sites themselves and I will cover that in one of my next videos on the F-18 Combat Ready series. So thank you very much for watching that about wraps it up for using the harms of course hit that like and subscribe button you're going to help the channel grow nearly at 10,000 because you guys all rock. Thank you very much for watching and until next time Tactical Pascal out!